Hey guys, Ben from KCT, back for another video, and I uh, just want to say that I really appreciate you guys sending in that fan mail. Uh, it's been very, very comforting to read all the hate that you guys have for me. So, um, I just want to throw this out here real quick. I got a couple questions that I want to answer um, from the email that I've received, and uh, then we'll just get right on into the program. So, first one is from Marky J, and he says, Ben, you have a little bit of an accent. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, my answer to that is no, um, German a little bit, but I did get an old fashioned to Despacito on two separate occasions, if that helps. Question two, uh, this is from Steve, pin, pin, yeah, whatever. Uh, Steve asks, Ben, do you still have my mom's hoodie? I'll check. Okay, let's get into the real serious stuff here. Uh, we're gonna show you how to save your RVG and use it for greater purposes. And uh, yeah, check, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out our sponsors, Free Arms, uh, B7 Weapon Systems, MFT, Adiball. I think I'll just keep this going for a while. It's making weird smacking noises. Okay, let's get into it. Guys, I saw somebody say, oh, well, you know, I'm just gonna throw this away because it's not uh, M-Lock, bro. Well, it, you know, like many things, it can be. So uh, this is the little adapter that comes with your railed vertical grip. And basically it just has those two cutouts for those slots there. But it, of course, also works for regular Picatinny nonsense. You can put like an AFG on here. Um, you can put the React short grip on there, uh, should you so choose. And so it comes with like longer screws and these little doodle bugs here. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I know the like the the normal ones, they do about like that size. Um, you know, of course, when I, my age, you know, I'm not systems. Um, I don't really like these small half step in pieces, so I'll just get rid of them and they come with longer screws, get rid of those two. Or put them in your bits box, you'll need them later. So what did I do? I took the awesome thing, because yes, it does say, oh, so I shouldn't be using it, but we will. So flip it over and put in regular analog hardware. And the only thing that you'll notice that you have that's different than other ones is there is no camming surfaces for those T-nuts, which would be an awesome name for a band. Uh, so you will have to do that whole leaning on the um, on the rail trick to get that tightened down. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how we go ahead and stick this to a rail and actually turn it into a functional piece of equipment. Check it out. Okay, we're going to do this live, so there'll be lots of messing up. So here is our piece, and notice that it doesn't really go into any specific analog slot because it's, again, not designed for it. Now you could uh, like jimmy these things back and forth for an hour and order to finally get them in. Or if you have like a polymer hanger that's in two pieces, you could just take it off and then put the um, nuts on the back of the bolts. But this is America, damn it, and we have m -lock, So I want to M-Lock, I want to take stuff apart. So what are we gonna do here? So if it cannot fit in a full slot, which will not, uh, we'll, we'll just make it fit over two slots. So we will. I dropped it in there. I feel like, ah, oh, bad. I almost went to some wiggle room. I did totally wrong, don't you know? Well, um, no, not really. But so it's really actually easy to fix. And you have to excuse my chair. It's you know just having sort of emissions. And what we want to do is go ahead and place an accessory or like a rail cover up against it, and that basically will stop it from moving or reduce its ability to travel. I gotta get yeah, a different chair. I guess I'm sending in money. So I get a chair. Oh, that was so cool. All right, so this also works out really well, these Magpul covers. So go ahead and press it into place. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of press this up against the Magpul cover. And again, doing that rail leaning thing. So I'm gonna sort of tilt the, um, the rail piece to one side. You don't know, I actually, for one moment, stopped and considered the outer inch sizes. So there's actually has two of them. So yeah, I'm gonna see how to lean up against there and tighten it down. And now because they didn't have recoil lugs in it, it's a little more, it has a little more play to it. But, and there's always a but, this locks up really, really securely. So right there you can see like leaves on grease, can't bust them. Now, obviously, my little piano player's hands 
not necessarily the strongest in the world. I'm sure you find somebody that can break that or whatever. Uh, but it is a piece of rail that you can stick to your M lock uh, that comes with something else. Um, so if you're like, oh, well, shit, if I bought this thing and all oh, no, not only has the oh, M lock, oh, the rail. I don't know why I'm saying like that. That's really weird. Anyways, you know, you just throw this on your, your gun. There you go. And so it works. I mean, if it's one of those things where I would not mount a laser to it or anything that you'd use to sight in. But it is good for, you know, like in the AFG, vertical grip, and they all sight that. And you can see, like even when I take... Now, Ben, you're using wire work. I can see um, the sweet rag magpole covers holding it. No. Um, uh, that's not going anywhere. This is just as sticky as any other MLOC piece that I have. So, guys, it's something to consider if you're into something like that. Definitely check it out. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help. We will come back with some more of your hate mail and um, probably more weird sexual stuff that you guys send in because you're bored and LARPing and something about you know, quarantine. I don't know, guys. Have a great rest of your day. See you.